All right, I'm going into Dunham's on a covert mission to get a Barnett Black Ops 390 crossbow. All right, my history with Barnett crossbows. So my first Barnett, maybe 15 years ago, was a Barnett Recruit, 300 feet per second. If you double lung the deer and you hit it with the right broadhead, you would 99% of the time get a pass through. So 300 feet per second is plenty of speed with a 400 grain arrow for hunting whitetail deer. After that, it was a, let me see, Barnett Raptor FX2, which is 330 feet per second. So an extra 30 feet per second, same 400 grain arrow. Once again, more than enough energy to um, double lung a deer. You're just getting the air there a little quicker, which is nice. You know, less time for them to react. After that, Barnett XP370. Um, and as we go, you know, through these crossbows, it's basically the less and less that I hunted with them. You know, I hunted the most with the first one, the Recruit. Um, I, I got a lot of deer with that recruit, but I also missed a lot of deer. I don't know if I was ranging them wrong or just shooting too far. But, you know, having five reticles in the scope was actually a bad thing. So, five reticles in the scope for all of the crossbow haters, especially the ones that have never hunted with a crossbow. It makes things difficult. Um, not saying it's more difficult than hunting with a compound bow because that certainly is hard but it's not easy when you just start with a crossbow it's not easy now i am starting this year i'm going to do some single pin hunting setting in at 30 and i'm that's going to get me good from zero to 40 because of the speed of my crossbow so there will be upcoming videos to explain that if you want to subscribe and yeah, let's get back to Dunham's. So I waited around back in the uh, gun archery area for a little while. Nobody came out. So I had to go up to the front again and, you know, ask them to get some help for me. Then I had a question for the guy about, you know, a uh, gun rack for a hunting blind that I'm working on. They didn't have that. So then I asked them about the crossbows. Now, some um, stores sell their crossbows already assembled so they take them out of the box put the front end on like if this is a barnet and they save everything from inside the box like the owner's manual and the arrow and the quiver and stuff like that and they get rid of the boxes because they want to save space that's like um when i bought one at dick's that's what they did and that's not what i wanted because i wanted to be able to do an unboxing video so i asked him if he could sell it from you know still being in the box and he said that's the way they prefer to do it so you know they just keep them in the back in a box so that was um fortunate for me so i just followed him over he was um looking at the crossbow first to get a number then he headed to the back and i just followed him and waited by the door at that point i ended up just um spinning around in circles to see how smooth i could uh record in circle so we'll uh, fast forward through that and we'll fast forward through walking up to the front counter and out to the car <laughs> all right we got the crossbow it's in the back seat there Got the receipt. Next video probably going to be unboxing, so make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss that. And you can go to backairbroadheads.com for hunting and crossbow accessories.